Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's session, we will see how to run Yarn applications using command line. So of course we need to open the command line first and then connect it to the node one using SSH because I have uh, in my current environment I have only one node. The next thing you have to do, we have to change the directory to the <coughs> Hadoop map reduce. So you have to do that, type the cd usr then Hadoop HTTP 2.3.0.0-2557 and it's a Hadoop hyphen map reduce. So we are in the Hadoop map reduce directory now next command we have to just do this like sample program we have to run the sample program uh, that will use the map reduce to to calculate the value of pi okay so let's run that command yarn jar this is the command for jar running hadoop hyphen examples this is the sample jar pi and some parameters So not valid char command. Uh, okay. Okay. So probably yeah we are at the right location. Let's check whether the okay. yes. Yeah, I can see this fine. it should return some value of a pi but somehow it's not returning okay let's try like this let's switch to the yarn and we'll try Jar, yar, jar, Hadoop, hyphen examples, dot jar, pi, pi, ten. Not a valid jar. Okay, it's saying not a valid jar. Let's try this Hadoop. Let's uh, see the Hadoop hyphen examples present or not. This there, okay. So Hadoop example jar is not there. That's the reason we are getting this issue. Uh, if Hadoop example jar is present, then it might have written the value for the pi. So what is this pi? Pi is like the before dot and ten is the how many digits up to you want after that dot next thing we are going to see how many applications are running on the yarn so if you remember we have to use node 1 and 8080 and in that cluster you can see the how many finish so this by this way we will we will able to see the how many applications which are in the finished condition if you go to the fill right now you will not be able to see any fail but if you see the finish you can see so similarly we can access those also through the command line tool now we will go back and what will connect will connect to the pay so how to the connect to the pay uh, so in order to connect to the pig it will actually give us a, a controller okay and that control is nothing but the grunt so as like yarn we have pig also pig is also one of the sub component and we can monitor to pig component through the yarn so when you use the command pig it will go to the command prompt with the grunt so grunt is like the editor for the 
directory so using grant we can make a directory make dir and this is the way this is the syntax oh sorry uh, this is syntax make directory cmd underscore given the line underscore test semicomma enter it is saying some protocol related error okay so trying protocol that means pig is not running that's fine we can open and log into the console using admin which I already logged in as an admin if you see the next thing we can do is nothing but we'll check my hdfs files and I can't see the my hdfs so that's the reason we are actually getting some issues so now suppose you want to quit or if you want to come out of this you have to use quit semicomma it will come out from that big uh, environment similarly if you go or if you want to monitor hive through the yarn you can use hive command and it will lo launch the hive for us mm, okay it's accessing some OJAR let me exit it okay let's do hive Yanjar launch an application okay logging initially using configuration in file this okay it is and now we log to the hive let's try to create a database that is nothing but a, a component database cmd then use the line underscore hive comma let's see what it is so it created that database if you want to sh if you run the show database it will show that database as well so this is the uh, high command okay show database no wallet exception let me do this show databases actually that is a command so it is showing what are the commands so cmd line uh, line la hive it is the one of the database we just created if you want to drop the database give the drop command it is in the small case database and the database name cmd line hive and semicolon so it got dropped and we can quit it Similarly, we can do the pig also. Pig is getting launched. So whenever you use the pig, the command line is grant. Let's try to create again one more time. Make directory if it is possible. Make directory cmd line test and semicomma. So it created that directory for us and we can access this directory through the command line but somehow let's try to use my hdfs file but somehow this is not working we'll fix that and we'll come back now we saw the pig and the hive if there is any any other component which is associated with uh, yarn then we can access similarly now suppose you want to access the yarn using the um, how do you access it through the Ambari? You log into the Ambari and you can go to the Ambari and dashboard you will see the Ambari uh, hi, yarn section. So we have to make sure everything is configured properly and everything is working fine. We can scroll down and update the its properties also. So that we already seen how to configure the history and what are the components we have so we already configure the uh, groups and the host so if you don't know 
how to configure so first make sure you have configured the Hadoop proxy you root and the group there are two properties you need to configure select the config go to the advanced tab and inside the advanced tab you can go to the core sites resource manager node manager there are various properties available similarly you go down and see the core sites Here you can see the custom yarn site, advanced yarn site, advanced yarn for log4j and other supporting yarn. So if you go to the custom yarn site or let me show custom core site should be there. Isolation is there. Fault general application node manager and resource manager so as like so this is like uh, a way if you if you see that in the HDFS resource we added two properties similarly we can add to the YAN also in the advanced tab of the configuration even if you in the drop down you can see uh, there is currently only one yarn default is available if you create a one more group for the yarn you can use that as well so these are the things related to the yarn if you want to see a little more details about the other components like the pig hive you can subscribe my channel um, thank you for watching the video and have a nice time